There you go. They have an empty tree. Have you? Well, now, now the reason that I'm turning on my camera is because I'm at home. So now it's different rules because are my own rules. <laughs> That's good. So usually you're at work when you connect to the class? Yeah, that's right. That's oh. the reason that I, I'm unable to activate my camera. Mm. As you know, so security policies. Security policies, okay. That's good. That's okay. Let's just wait for a little bit. Yesterday I stood with Dora for 10 minutes and I remember I haven't sent you some things. Um, I'm just like preparing those. Let's see if this was downloaded correctly. No, we didn't. Uh, well, it's kind of gonna help you. Okay, um, I have some verbs list. Two, two lists of verbs um, that might help you. I'm trying to download them. Uh, it's not going to download the proper way. So no, I'm just going to wait. I'll send you one just for now. But the idea is for you to keep practicing. I don't know if you do something else or, and, and by the way, this, this one that I'm sending you is, is wrong too. It's, um, it has a blank page in the middle of each page, the PDF. But the idea is for you to continue practicing. So one thing you can do is to acquire more um, vocabulary and the best way to get more vocabulary is, is using your surroundings. Uh, yesterday, I was um, explaining to Dora that there is a very easy way to do that. And it's, it's just a matter of, well, first uh, discipline and, um, and and don't give up, you know, on, 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 on your goal of learning, of course. You need uh, perseverance. You need perseverance. That's very important. And to become disciplined, that's all you need perseverance to do because discipline is just doing the same thing multiple times, you know, make it a routine and then things come easier. I was explaining to Dora yesterday that you can simply grab a verb every day. Well, five verbs and five words related. So you start with the first verb. Give me a verb, Steve. Let's start the class. Any verb. Hmm. Okay, Wilfredo, help me. Give me a verb, any verb. Hey. Come again. Why? Die? Why? <laughs> Wait. Uh... Be you why? Why? Oh, bye, bye. Sorry, bye. Okay. <laughs> even <laughs> even at bye. this point, I know, I know. It was like what? <laughs> okay. Bye. Uh, wait. Okay. Even though we are on um, on advanced, if you have a notebook specifically for this, that will be great. Um, so bye. Now give me a word related to the verb. Money. Money. Do you want to buy money? No, but you use money to buy. That sounds. Like a plan, okay. And by the way, it's money, money, not money <laughs> or whatever. Okay, so money. Um, okay. So now you have a verb and you have a word related to the verb. Now you can do this on a daily basis. Start Monday with one grammar tense and then do Tuesday another grammar tense. And um and so on, right? Just keep going through it. So change the, the, the grammar tense every day. 
since you're in advance already, because what you are not practicing, uh, you forget it. Okay, so if you're not practicing English, you will forget some words or you will become rusty, a little bit rusty if you know what it means. So what will be the, the first, the positive sentence? And by the way, what will be the tense that we, we, we shall use? What grammar tense shall we use? I'm doing this while we wait for the others. What's the most difficult tense for you guys at this point? David? Maybe uh, present perfect. <laughs> okay, present perfect. So we all know the, the, the rules, right? What you need to build a positive, negative, and, and, and question sentence. Um, but what's the auxiliary of the present perfect, guys? That's something that you should keep in mind at all, at all times. What is the auxiliary for past this deed? For the verb to be is the verb to be. Uh -huh. Have. 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 Have, right? Or. Have. Huh? Have or. Has. 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 Uh -huh. Has. Now you're remembering. Okay. So keep that in mind. Now let's go with the first sentence in, um, ne in positive form. Somebody? Buy money. I need to have a, oh. need to have a lot of money to buy that car. Now this is present perfect. I have I have uh, bought I have money to buy computer. I have mm, I have bought um Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> Both. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, I have bought a what? A computer. Where is the word money here? With my with my money. With my money, money, money. Money. Let's say with my own money. Oh. My own, uh -huh. yes, my own money. Okay, so now we have a positive sentence. Remember, we have the subject, the auxiliary, the verb in present perfect form or past participle, the past participle of the verb. On the list of verbs that I just sent you is the third column, the third column. So I have bought a, I have bought a, I have bought a computer with my own money, money, money. Money. Okay, who goes for a negative? Who can do the negative? Will Will Fredo have you remember? Yeah. Oh, didn't. Come again. Uh, oh, that one. Uh huh. Same sentence. I haven't. Mm -hmm. I haven't bought a computer with my own money. Good. I haven't bought a computer with my own money. I haven't bought a computer with my own money. Okay. Okay. Question. Who, who does the question? Steve. How I bought. Have I bought a computer with my own money? A money in question. Man. There the you go. You got it. Okay. Now let's complicate our lives and make a WH question. Juan Miguel. Why? No, yeah. Yeah. Have I bought a computer with my own money? If I can borrow from someone else. <laughs> <laughs> if I can borrow someone else's. If I can borrow someone else's computer. Yeah, what will be the answer? Sorry, sorry. The, the, the other? Yeah, what would be the answer? Answer the question. Why have I bought a computer with my own money? 
because I have been saving money for that. Uh -huh. Now this is present perfect continuous. Yeah, how do you say duh? Duh, I think that's the way, duh. Yeah, duh. Expressions, at this point, expressions are very useful. Oh, because I have been saving money for it, duh. Okay. <laughs> so this is one. My advice is this, and this always works. It always works. So take the advice. If whether you are in basic, intermediate, or advanced, or if you have kids, you can use this. Grab a verb. Put it this way. Why is it important to use this, this specific structure? Your brain loves colors, okay? Your brain is designed in such a way that it will recognize first colors, even if you are not looking at the screen, right now your brain with the peripheric uh, view, let's say, or sight, is going to, to stare at the colors, bright colors. So subconsciously, and this works, the, I, I came up with this methodology in 2016 and it worked. And somebody made a book, somebody made a book of this, this methodology and is making money out of it. <laughs> they sell the book for $10 on that academy, just so you know. So the thing is that it works. Why does it work? Because number one, colors. Your brain follows colors and it will memorize colors without you doing any effort. Listen to this. Without you doing any effort, your brain will remember this information. Number two, um, and by the way, I, I did it this way, but you should use um, other colors, you know, like for for the words that you don't want to forget. In this case, if you don't want to forget the but is, uh, is the past participle of by, you should use a different color for that word specifically. My advice is for you to get a pen, a pencil. No, 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 a pen with uh, four different colors. Have you seen those pens? That that works a lot. And have a notebook specifically for homework. So one verb, one word, positive, negative, question, open question. You use another verb, another word, positive, negative, question, open question, and so on. Five times a day. Why five times, teacher? Isn't that too much? No, you will end up doing this in like 15 minutes and you're done. Would you stay with 15 minutes of studying? No, go to the Google Translate app, put the sentence, copy and paste it if you want, or just write it and then listen and repeat, listen and repeat. This is very useful. Um, you will be absorbing information and the expectation, if you're very smart, you will memorize three verbs, three words every day. If you're a regular person, you know, like everybody else, like us, you will memorize without effort, two verbs, two words. Is that good? Yeah, better than doing nothing, right? It works, believe me, this works. So, um, and so you do this on Monday, you do person perfect. Tuesday, you do past perfect. Wednesday, you use models. Uh, Thursday, you use, I don't know, present simple, third person, something that you would tend to forget, the third person, and so on, right? Questions? No questions? Okay, let's do the attendance so we can start the class in full. By the way, guys, remember this class is 80-20. You have to talk. I'm only here to help you improve in your areas of improvement. Hey, teacher, Fernando, teacher, I'm at the bus. I'm in the bus. I will stay as a listener until I get home. Okay. Got it. Hi, teacher. I know what happened with my microphone. I can 
I can hear you, but you not you cannot hear me. I activate the microphone, but I can't. Okay. I can hear you, Wendy. Teacher, you can hear me. Yes. Can Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> okay. Thanks, teacher. Yay. You now you, you, you can hear me? <laughs> I can hear you, yes. But the question is, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Thank you for correcting that issue. Okay. So let's do the attendance, guys. Today is our fourth day. What's going on here? Okay. Wait a minute. And stay. Where? are the other days wait a minute somebody has been playing with my attendance show 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 huh on hide columns okay there is okay so ana claudia gonzalez velasquez present teacher okay david samuel galdames monterrosa present teacher dora elizabeth flores mendez present Excelente. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Thank you. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Thank you. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Thank you. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Yeah, right now. Got it, got it, Jarvin. Thank you. Be careful. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Step in here, but not today. Okay. Hmm. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Thank you. Juan Miguel Bram Mejia. Present, teacher. I'm here. Thank you. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Thank you. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Hey, good. Okay, so let's start tonight. Well, what happened yesterday? What are your thoughts about yesterday's uh, dynamic, about the debate? Are you upset with somebody at this point? <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> Okay. Did you go to bed thinking, oh my God, what's better? Right. What will I do with $25,000? It's not that much money, believe me. $25,000 is not that much. Well, you can buy a house. Can you buy a house still with $25,000 in El Salvador? No. <laughs> you can. Yeah, you, you can buy a house. Yeah, but maybe not in the in the area that you want, yeah. For example, in La Campanera, you can buy a, a danger. <laughs> yeah, but it's not. Que tira uh, a la tina. Yeah, <laughs> it's not a good, a good neighbor. Yeah. Neighborhood. Yeah. Neighborhood. Sorry, neighbor yeah. is a person. Yeah. Actually, I, I have a a person I know, acquaintance, uh, who just bought a house in you know Pico, San Juan of Pico, and, and it was twenty thousand actually. It's not mm -hmm. a bad name. It's not a bad neighborhood, you know. It's just that it was, it was a bad neighborhood, but now it's relaxed. I mean, everything is cool in that neighborhood. It's quieter, I have to say. And the weather, I don't like the weather there. It's too hot in San Juan of Pico. Have you ever been there? Yeah. I like yeah. little towns. If, if I had the money, I will buy a house in a little town. Wouldn't you? Okay. Okay. Well, in my case, I believe that when you buy a house in the town, it's really calm. It's, yeah, really calm the, the city. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you're a regular person who has to work to live. <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. You have to go with it. Well, um, things are different now, but 
I don't know, is Citran still working? I have that doubt. Is Citran still active? No, right? Yes, no. God. That was a big, that was a huge help for people from Soyapango, right? I guess. I was working in, in Universidad Don Bosco, teaching, and, and I remember I used to use the trams travel there. Okay. So tonight, let's warm up. We only have eight minutes for the following thing. Uh, the following thing that we're going to do is just answer one simple question. It will be on your Zoom chat. What I want you to do is to use the following structure. I wish I had enough money. Okay. I wish I had enough money too. And then you use a verb, a base verb, you know, a simple verb in simple present form. So I wish I had enough money to buy a house. I wish I had enough money. Let me continue. I wish I had a, enough money to buy a new house. Um, if I had enough money. Oh, hold on. I wish it had, and this is what I wanted to do. I wish. It was a big house. I wish it had a, um, an amazing backyard. Where we could plant, grow, 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 where we could grow what? Corn. Okay, I'm just giving you an idea. So what will you wish to buy if you had enough money? So I wish I had enough money to buy a Ferrari. I wish it was red. You got the idea? You got it? Okay, so in groups, go one by one saying what you wish you had money for. What you wish you had money for. Make sense? And I will monitor you. I'm making sure you are aware of how to use what we have learned, I wish. Okay, so it's just gonna be three groups. I want to see a lot of people participating. Don't stay quiet, okay? See, okay. David. David is on the same group with Fernando and Luis. Let's do it. Oh, Fernando, I know you're driving. If possible, accept the invitation. Um, okay, William, let's go. Money to and maybe uh, you continue the, the, the work. The work. Uh -huh. In my case, in my case, I wish I had enough money to go to travel around the world and um, maybe visit Switzerland, Switzerland, I don't know, Switzerland, Switzerland, I don't know, Switzerland, Peter, you stay here, no, Switzerland, Switzerland, Switzerland. 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 Yeah. Okay. And this is Switzerland. 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 This place. 
in Europe, in Europe, Europe. It's beautiful. Switzerland is beautiful. Yes, I, like. I, I can I, see. Yes. In the Lord of Rings. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, maybe. I can see the, the Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And you, Dora? And I wish I have enough money to buy a house with a huge kitchen. Really? Yes. Yes. Do Conti you like continue, that? continue. How do you picture the kitchen, Dora? It, I wish it had, I wish it had a huge fridge, a huge fridge. I wish it had a great oven. A big refrigerator. Refrigerator. Two, two doors. Two, two yes. doors. <laughs> uh, uh, two, uh, uh, two doors in uh, Iceland. Oh, yes. Uh, How do you say? How, what do you like say? A, what do you say? Marmol teacher. A marmol Island. Marmol Island. Marmol Island. Do you like Marmol Island, Dora? Yes, yes, like in the show TV. TV show? So beautiful. Oh, TV show. Yes. yes. I'm sorry, I meant to say marble. Marble. Mar marble. Or marble. Mm -hmm. Marble. Oh. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you like with, book? No, uh, I know, I know Ah. Uh -huh. Yes. Continue practicing. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish. Uh, I have enough money to travel and to different countries and meet different cities and not being uh, not being worried about money. <laughs> so if I I wish I had enough money to travel, enjoy, sleep, uh dream, why not? Dance <laughs> the, yeah. the rest of my life from now on. <laughs> I don't want to continue working. No, no it's a joke. <laughs> and then I wish, um, I wish I had, wish I had, um, and the, the second one, it will be something like, I wish I had a, a big house to take care for abandoned dogs, at least three more in my house. Three more dogs? Three dogs, uh-huh. I have one, but I, oh, I okay. like to have more dogs, but I love to rescue abandoned. It, because of the space, I cannot... It, 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 because it's not only me living in this house, so I need to respect this space. So, you know, maybe one day I can do something like that. Okay. I don't know who's next. Uh, I'll go then. Okay. So I wish I had enough money maybe to purchase the house and maybe enough money to be able to do an entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure of what type of entrepreneurship, but an entrepreneurship. And I wish I, uh, this an entrepreneurship becomes very successful and it becomes also a social a guided entrepreneurship. So that's my wish. I don't know about William. 
What do you wish for? Mm. I wish I had enough money to sell a house, a big house or a nice car. And I wish I had enough money to travel around the world. Yeah. And yeah, visit, for example, Europe, watching a match game. Uh, I enjoy life in general. And I wish I had enough money to, yeah, sell a, or buy a nice car, uh, buy a big house for me and my family, and help some people or homeless, for example. Jarvin, I don't know. He mentioned he was driving, so I don't, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to answer. Yeah, he's okay. I guess we can keep going. Okay. Wishing away. Hmm? We can make another. Okay. Round. I wish I had enough money after my after the business or with the business that i uh that i was talking about before and the second one or the second thing for a uh, that i wish i had enough money is to it or it's related with the idea that anna claudia said travel around the world yeah but yeah, but in my case, in my case, in a Claudia, um, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yeah. If you make your first million dollar, please invite me, and I will do the same. Thing. Sin surface. Pongámoslo en españolizado because I don't know the name. A white surface and a an offense. To may do presenters. Teacher, we are having a problem with uh, this word. When you are talking about technology, you don't say the last generation. Last generation. Why it, not? It's okay. Last generation. I I I remember mm -hmm. that I. I I hear something like age, age technology. A cut of the age. Cut of the age. Something like that, yeah. Cut of the age computer. Last generation computer sounds good as well. Yeah, you can use it. I heard it. I have heard it. I wish it was a it was an it was an i7 processor. You're missing the article on the second statement i wish it was an i7 processor or i wish it had an i7 processor yes, and uh, yes yes if, uh -huh, it had an i7 processor in eighth or ninth generation okay i wish it had two monitors i wish it had an ergonomic keyboard and an keyboard, optical keyboard keyboard is only for numbers keypad Keyboard is, is yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, I wish you had a writing surface and an. What's the name of that of that of that article? Writing surface is uh, is a name that I I invented, but I, no, I but you're part. fine. You're fine. A writing surface is a space to write. Yes. Right. Writing you surface. Have some kind of optical writer, something like that. You write and then. And you're writing it appears in the in the, in the presentation. Okay, in the presentation. Yes. Good. Yeah. Okay. Sounds that like is a our needs. Totally. And, hey, um, Luis Albert wants a, a house, <laughs> and I, I have a little small. 
switch a computer. You have a little what? Uh, uh, a little no, computer. No, a computer. Yeah, no, no, a computer, but the wish is not that so big that, that the wish is small. Small. Okay. Okay, we have done. Are we done? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Okay, let's continue. I hope you enjoyed that little dynamic and, and were able to apply because the, the idea was to use I wish I had and make sure you describe what you wish you had. So for example, I wish I had a, a Volkswagen from 1978. I wish it had a 1.8 engine and I wish it run I wish it run, run very well, and so on, right? Describing uh, what you were wishing for. Okay, so tonight, what's on today's agenda? The topic, the main topic is relevance of social entrepreneurs in today's society. Society. Oh, before I move on, some little corrections. Um, some pronunciation that I heard from you have enough have enough as i have told you before if you have the letter t or the little the letter v in the middle of two vowels like that the d is in the middle of the a and the e then you say okay head it head it head it head it had enough if i had enough if i had enough if i had enough if i had enough you perfect you got it one now the word money, uh -uh. money, uh -uh. money, just like that, money, money, money. like that. If you, like if you were saying Monica, Monica, no, right? Okay, money. I'm I'm texting okay. to uh, Fernando only. I don't know why. I'm texting to Fernando. Wait a minute. I'm only sending the messages to Fernando for some reason. Hold on. There you go. I was texting this. So head and off and money. The V in the middle of the A and the E. Okay. Head head enough. Head enough. Head enough. Money, money, money. Okay. So what's the relevance of social entrepreneurs in today's society? Um uh, who can describe what is a social entrepreneur at this point? Have you looked for any examples of social entrepreneurs? I see a social entrepreneur is somebody that is interested in in a, satisfying some social needs like education, like uh, maybe transportation, but uh, not in a in a way that he uh, can give a, a, a good means of transportation or or uh, water uh, or a, a food that. Uh, at the good prices, something like that, that, that is thinking in how to to help the others. I think, I don't know. 
I, I don't I don't listen to that until this class. <laughs> I have never I, have I, I, never, I wait, wait, wait. I've I've never ever I never heard that. I've never heard that until now. I've never heard that until now. Go, David. I've but, but this this I've is with the the contraction of uh, it sounds I've, better. Okay. Uh -huh. I've well, well, sorry, I never heard of that, that before. <laughs> till this class until this class i've never heard of that before i've never heard of that before i've never heard of that until now I've never heard of that until now uh, yeah thank you sounds yes. better so but i i haven't looked for an example of a, of an enterprise you know a company or somebody famous of uh, for doing uh social entrepreneurship hmm so very famous. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, it's like a famous company, a a, a, a renamed company. So, oh, you know what? The ten most successful social entrepreneurs, huh? So, so some like this. The song that uh, Michael Jackson uh, did with the many singers. Uh, we are the kids. Oh. We are the kids, we are the world. and We are the world, uh-huh. We are the world, yeah. We are the world. This, he's trying, trying to, to help Africa. I, was... I, don't know, uh -huh. I don't know if the money he, he went to Africa, but uh, I, I think it was a success. Tell me. I was watching a video where they went improvising during a break, a recess on that video, when they were filming the video. One of the guys started singing... Um, an old song. Da, 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 da. I don't know if you remember. I don't want to sing it because I don't know the lyrics. The Lion King. No. Is that me? Nah, it's something that has to do with bananas. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But is the, the... It's one of the Lion King song. Really? Not, not the main one, but I think. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can remember the song. I, I even looked for it recently. Yeah. In the jungle. I nah. know. <laughs> you won't get it. No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to get this. Um... Hold on. I, I'll tell you later, okay? Because it's it's funny. It's a very old song, and it's very famous. Times two, times three. Okay. Okay. So moving on. I was telling you, I haven't found or I haven't looked for. Uh, and I'm I'm actually on a list of ten most popular social entrepreneurs. I'm not seeing any re re renamed brand, something that comes to my mind. When I was uh, delivering the class for uh, marketing on Intermediate 6, I say I think, we were talking about Lido and how some brands become uh, familiar to you. And, and, and it's, we call them nostalgic product. I, I think William was there. William was in that class. Uh, the nostalgic products, you know, how have you have you ever seen a commercial, an ad on TV from Lido? Never, right? No. But there well, are very... in the last time, never, but in uh, the past, during... yes. In the last few years? In the last few years, never. But oh. the, the phrase, yo de Lido, <laughs> you see, that's yes. so famous. And you don't re you don't forget it for sure. Yes, I mean it's a national brand. It's it's I don't know. It 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 holds emotions. Coca Cola plays with your feelings, you know, on their uh, marketing campaigns. And if you didn't know it, they convince you without you even knowing. So this kind of things, right? So when you think about something, you come up with a brand. That's the way we are right now. Um, Commerce has gone through the sky, so we now relate everything to a brand. If I tell you shampoo, you already know what I'm talking about, right? What's your favorite shampoo? 
Um, if I say coffee. Listo. <laughs> What? <laughs> really? No. No, no. Uh -huh. I mean, something. yeah, oh, but, but the brand that you have on your mind. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Cafe listo. <laughs> Okay, that's better than Musun and no, no, yeah. Cafe. <laughs> no, no, yeah. we bought it direct from a uh, farm. Yeah, we do. We, we do too. We used to buy Mahala. No, no, no. We, we work, we eat at home. We buy the coffee direct from a directly? farm. Di directly? Directly from, from the directly farm? From directly the, from the farm. That's right. Mm -hmm. They produce it, they toast it, they. Packet, etc. They distribute it. And they distribute it. Steve? No. <laughs> you were going to say something. Say it. I don't drink coffee. Rico. Rico, yes. Actually, the one that we're 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 buying right now is called Rico Cafe, I think. Something like that. My wife brings it home from, from her job. Because she buys it directly from the farm, as Anna said. But there's a guy, it's just one guy delivering the, the coffee, you know. It's, he buys it from somewhere else and he delivers it. And it's good. It's, it's, com it's similar to Mahala de Oro, so we're good. And Mahala de Oro went too high, you know. It's like almost $5. It's too, too expensive now. Okay, uh, so continuing. I haven't... I don't have any any company. If you find one, just let us know so we can um, have an idea of what what we have to think about when we consider a social interpreter. So I'm going to share my screen with you with the book, and we're going to start today with page nine. Um, we have a conversation topic first. Okay, uh, on page nine. So uh, at the end of this lesson, I will be able to, William, you're so quiet. Explain the relevance of social entrepreneurs in today's societies. Assess the feasibility of a social entrepreneurship idea. You were doing an awesome entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Remember the stress is on tre, tre, entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Idea. Wow. Assess the feasibility of a social entrepreneurship idea. Wow. So let's see the quote below first so we can answer the questions. Okay. Uh, who would like to read the quote in slow motion so we can all think about the quote? Who wants to read it? The first two lines, teacher. Just one question. Do you hear that noise? Yes, there are songs in that. Uh, some, some, <laughs> somebody talking, no? No. No? It's, some, it, it's a blender on my kitchen. I'm sorry, but can you hear it? Uh, no. no, no. No? No. Okay, good. So let's read the quote. If you are successful, who wants to read it? Okay, the first one says, do you agree with the quote below? And uh, the quote is the first one. Yeah, the one that I have highlighted. Oh, okay. If you are successful, it is because somewhere, sometimes someone gave you a life or an idea that started you in the right direction, remember? Also that you are in depth to life until you help some less fortunate person. You says you will help Melinda Gates, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Yes. Okay. Now let me try it. Let me do it. Um, so can you hear me well? Yes. Okay. That's all that, that matters that you can hear. So if you are successful, it is because somewhere, sometime, someone gave you a life or an idea that started you in the right direction. Remember also that you are indebted, indebted to life until you help some less 
fortunate person. Just, I repeat, just, just as you were helped. You were helped. 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 Okay, helped. Melinda yeah. Gates, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Fun, foundation. 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 Shin. Shin. I will ask you to say Shin, like S H E N, when you see this um, word ending. When you see the word ending I O N, try to say Shin. Shin. Foundation. foundation. Education. Population. Foundation. foundation. Intonation, you see? It works better. Okay, one more person. Somebody else to read this as I did, but faster. Me. If you are successful, it is because somewhere, sometimes someone gave you a life or an idea that start you in the right direction. Remember also that you are indebted to life until you help some less fortunate person. Just, just as you were helped, Melinda Gates Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. 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 F foundation. foundation. Okay. Foundation. Good. Do you know when I was a kid, something that I used to do because I was born in 1982, and our first TV was a Zenith, a Zenith TV. It was a very good TV back then, and it came from the United States. My mother sent a TV. The only thing that she ever sent us was a TV. The thing is that I never forget that the first thing I did. Uh, was to read. Do you remember back in the days? Some of you may not, William may not remember. This is Steve. Nobody here. Maybe David and I only, and Anna, maybe, I don't know, Dora. Mm -hmm. Back in the days, movies used to start with the actors. And the boys used to read the names of the actors. So they used to go like Melinda Gates. Nicolas Cage, Michael Keaton, yeah, I yeah. <laughs> I Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <You're like, laughs> man, it was it was cool because that was English as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if you think about it, man, that's English as well. Learning names. Some some Americans, when I talk to some Americans, they get excited when I read their names uh, correctly, you know, and they go like, oh my God, how, how were you able to, to say my name correctly? Because nobody does. Um, there's a common name and it's a Chinese last name, I will say. And I, I like it. It's something like N Nugen. Something like that, Nugen, 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 something like that. I can remember the spelling, but they always go like, how do you know that that that's that's spelled Nugen like that? Nugen, it's really weird, and so on, right? Smith, oh oh oh, just for general culture, there is a difference between Smith and Smith. Okay, yes. this is British, okay, or English, and this is American. Just if you didn't know that. <laughs> There's a lot more of discrepancies, you know, like uh, mm -hmm. right? And I could continue with this all day. Oh, I, I did. Oh, hold on. Uh, what's the other one? Like that. And so on. Man, so many different names. Okay. So, Moving on. If you're successful, it is because somewhere, sometimes someone gave you a life or an idea that started you in the right direction. Let's go with that first part. Do you agree with this quote? Yes, teacher. I agree. Do you feel identified with it? 
at any level? Yes, it's, it's so uh, because uh, we are not paying attention, but uh, uh, in a many situations we are giving advice on that we are uh, paying help for another people so maybe someone write a wrote a book that help you maybe somebody write an, an expression that help you I, I remember when i was a, a little kid i live in, in santa ana and I went to the harvest of coffee. And uh, at, at noon, uh, there always, uh, 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 I don't know how to say that, but a man that put music in, and uh, he always uh, put uh, uh, some poetry of uh, uh, some, uh, if, well, uh, Ryer Kipling, Ryer Kipling. And that poem was so important for me. It's a son sinat, cuando vayan malas cosas, como a veces suelen ir. Cuando fresca tu camino, solo cuesta subir. Cuando tengas poco a ver, pero mucho que cubrir, y precises sonreír aún teniendo que llorar. Cuando ya el dolor te agobie y no puedas más sufrir, descansar, acaso debes, pero nunca desistir. Wow. I, I, I hear that every noon, and what's important for me. Yeah. And okay. They, they put us on that. Dale con todo la esperanza al Salvador. Wow. El universo soy tu amigo. Was a very good time for me. I was 11. And it was so important. You know, when I when you started speaking in Spanish, I, I, I kind of heard. I, I thought you were still speaking in English. I was like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't you guys? It was like, wait, oh, oh he's talking in oh, Spanish. Yeah. That that connected we are with English right now. I guess it's it's good, it's good. Okay, so I'm gonna split you. The um task right now is for you to discuss in your groups, following each question. So do you agree with the quote below? I totally agree with it. You know because. It's true. Somebody helped me once. My uncle helped me, giving me a dictionary, introducing me to the idea. He planted the idea of me speaking English. Do you feel identified with it at any level? Totally, because I'm doing it. I'm trying to help others. How will you follow up on the message of the quote? Well, I'm following up already. I'm trying to help others learn this beautiful language um, as I learned when I was a kid. That's briefly what I have to say. So somebody help me. That's what I think. So I don't know, give yourself um, thoughts, you know, that's the first task and we will continue later. Okay, so we will continue with the section two. Right now, we're just gonna work with um, the first part of this exercise, okay? It's just 15 minutes in theory, please talk remember that it is important for you to speak with your classmates when you're in small groups um y lo voy a decir en español porque no me parece que solo los mismos estén hablando habemos en este momento um en este momento vemos 13 personas deberían de ustedes estar practicando no solo estar callados y solo viendo de qué sirve <laughs> okay so <laughs> Cuando era um, gerente en una academia, llegaba a los salones a auditar a los profesores y me hacía pasar por gringo. Y los alumnos como que... Un gringo. gringo. Y yo... Here comes the gringo. Ajá, uh -huh, at, at the end, I was like, I'm just kidding, I'm more Indio than you guys, come on. I am gringo and I like tortillas. I like tortillas. That's so funny. I'm more pipil than you, I used to say. Okay, good. Let's recreate the teams and make sure you speak. Please don't stay quiet. Hold on, David. I'm trying to get you into the same group on both cameras. And oh, no, I cannot exchange. Let me send it first. Okay, let's go. Uh, we are in two different groups. I know, I know. There you go. Okay.
Ileana. Good evening. to discuss or just if for example if we are agree with the keyword below if you do you feel identified with it with it on any level how would you follow up on the message of the quote i'll discuss the, the quote yeah well in my case i believe that uh, during them, uh, when you maybe get a help or someone, when uh, maybe that person give you a hand or maybe give you a, a push to to one position that you are applying, and maybe that position um, has a uh, one uh, task to to to. Uh, get an audit, uh, to get an out for that, or to get a, a high score, maybe. Uh, when you went, um, uh, when you pass the, the the exam for yourself, so that's uh, that is a worry for you. By the way, someone give you give you a hand, or maybe give you uh, a help to to achieve that position uh, I guess I guess that you you need to help uh, to other one to someone else but in the case about the quote uh, I'm I'm totally agree I totally agree yeah it's true it is because Okay, so in, in my case, in my case, guys, related with the with the with the phrase, if you're successful, it is because somewhere, sometimes, someone gave you a life or an idea that started you in the right direction. Remember also that you are in debt to life until you help some less fortunate person, just as you were helped. In my case, I. I think that you have to to re, to help other people, yeah. But um, that's or that could be like your um, I don't know what is the best term to to explain this. It's like um. Uh, a way to to save yeah other other life other person's life yeah it could be related with work or with with a job yeah or some someone so something else sorry uh, and if you have the opportunity yeah uh, um like you had this opportunity before you are um obligado i don't know how to say this teacher obligado somebody obligado no, nobody Obli obligado forced oh, okay oh. you are forced yeah to help other people yeah like uh, uh and, and in my case is it's a kind of re revenue maybe yeah but in a personal way yeah to satisfy i i think yourself yeah helping each other he helping other people yeah as you were helped before mm -hmm.
Yeah, I think uh, in my case it is. Uh... That that is true. So maybe we can we we cannot or we cannot have the the same opportunities, but we can help other with the resources that we have or with the or maybe with a little thing, you know. So in in conclusion, I, I agree with the quotes. So I don't know. Is the term for Ileana, I guess? She mentioned that she was driving, so I'm not sure if she will be. Able to Maybe talk. she she is she's driving. I don't know if he can. She oh, okay, can. so okay, so do you do you know Melinda Gates? A part of she's the the the, the wife of Bill Gates. I don't know her. I, I don't know about her, right? Thank you, teacher. Okay, we can discuss the, the other question, right? Who will you follow up on the message of the quote? So no, yeah. Maybe what what you said before that uh, we can be the changing point for the, uh, yeah, the changing point for someone else, um, because just as uh maybe Bill Gates was uh moved to, um, some point in his life to become who he is, as of today. Uh, then we can also be that changing point for either a younger person or an older person. Maybe it's important to, to help someone and or young young people, a child. A, it's important to me you if you if you can help and um, share uh, a good advice uh, for example learn english is it's important because it's, it's necessary every it's necessary understand that you can maybe you have uh, opportunities uh, in your life, in your professional life, and every day, and just for 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 you 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 think in your job, for example, or your every 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 day. Yeah. The idea is if you have an opportunity to to help someone. Uh, Give a bank or a, a share a, a book, for example, or a link or, or an app. And it, it, it's a, you put the, no, no, it's a, it's a, a good idea to help someone uh, to practice another language not english maybe but uh, if you if you church uh that you know or that you learn with someone uh, is the most important to me because it, you can change uh the idea or or or, or give a uh, a new idea to, to someone. Maybe we think it's correct 
if you say in that way, it's more important for me. Yeah, thank you. Sure. More important for me uh, if you help someone uh, yeah, learn English or. Listen, I, I think they are, they are trying to do it. I received it so much for many people, and I tried to help other people. So principal, principally for my students and uh, people that need next to me, people that are living near me, I try to help them. And I I try to, to learn for the people that uh, can help me too. Awesome. I think that now is time to hear to Wendy <laughs> about what she thinks. Okay. I I like I like so much uh, this is a, um a message because I think that you must be grateful for what you have a uh, you have and I think that uh, this is a key, the key of your life. When you recognize um, that you are not in a place that you are only because is your is your effort or your oh oh I don't know what do you say what do you say uh yes it's for effort and it makes you uh, maybe home, home what do you say humilde i don't remember how do how do how do how do you say humilde how, how do you say how do you say humilde uh -huh. Anna? humble yeah humble humble uh -huh. Humble, yeah. humble, humble, humble. Okay. How do you say humilde? Is humble, and that makes you great. And because I think that if you can help someone, you can do it. You do it because um, that will allow you to reap uh, even more emotional. Uh, well, maybe uh, I so sometimes the 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 people don't remember uh, all the other people help you. In, but it's necessary to you, you think sometimes the unrecognized. Uh, when other people uh, help, 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 help you, maybe, and I, I, I think it's not, it's not easy because you need to humble that, recognize when other people help you, but it's very important because it's part of the your values and and your because this, this form you you can a best life because you you are a great girl I think that teacher what you you can um, can you can, sorry teacher can you uh, say great great Grateful. You got it. Grateful. Grateful. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Grateful. And also say help. 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 Remember the burro? Help. Help. Mm -hmm. Help. What is the relationship with the, the burro? <laughs> ¿Ya menito llegamos? Ah. <laughs> so when you say a word ending on P, 
Remember the donkey, okay? Help. Okay, keep, keep, and so on. Keep. Okay, keep, keep going. Okay. Excellent. Finish to discuss what to discuss the Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Okay, cool. Let's go back. Psycho killer. <laughs> okay, ready? Let me share this little screen. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Okay, uh, I need to add one minute here on the board, and I'll need a Gracia to tell me who is going to be the victim. Wendy Patricia. What? Uh, maybe Wendy Patricia? Wendy Patricia. Okay, Wendy, you know how it goes, right? So you have one minute to speak to the class, to talk to the class, and say the answer to the questions we were looking at. So regarding the quote, so... Do you agree with the quote below? Teacher, I can see that. You cannot see it? No. Oh, right now, yeah. Okay. Did you see it now? Okay. If you see it, Wendy, it's the same thing, the same questions you were made. Do you agree with the quote below? Do you feel identified with it at any level? How will you follow up on the message of the quote? So let's answer them one by one. Do you agree? Do you feel identified? How will you follow up with the quote? So you have one minute, Wendy. Ready? Okay, teacher. One, two, three, action. Oh my God, one minute is very, very long. <laughs> well, um... Yes, in my case, I totally agree uh, with the code because sometimes we need to recognize the important is uh, is uh, be a um, 
grateful because is the only form you you can you can uh, be a, a a maybe good person because uh, you when you recognize the important is a, a help or help us other person you you can um, grab in your life and you can uh, help other other person too. Because Thank you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you. You see, one minute goes by really quick. Okay. So now for the listeners, don't think that when somebody's talking, I'm not considering you on the dynamic. No, I need your help right now, Francisco Eduardo. What's wrong with the first sentence? What is the area of improvement on this sentence? Uh, I've uh, seen uh, missing the the verb. For example, I feel sort of agree. Hmm. Oh, you mean I, I am feel? I when, am. Well, Francisco is saying I feel total agree, and Wendy is saying I am total agree. Okay, Francisco, choose someone else. Um. Rando Marvin. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Marvin, what's wrong with the sentence? I am total agree. I feel total agree. What What do you think? Mm, I think that I could say I'm totally agree. I'm totally agree. Mm, yeah. That's my choice. Okay, choose someone else that hasn't spoken. Okay. Oh, gracias. Gracias, okay. Gracias. What do you think? I totally agree. Yes. I totally agree. Okay. And this is adjectives if I other adverb this is an adverb right total totally okay totally agree okay what's the right pronunciation i, I think it, it was missing an s an l, an l? l? Double l. thank you yes so, i okay. totally agree uh -huh. good pay attention great job and always try to help me please i'm i'm, not, I'm a human uh, just like the human league just like the human league you know the human, human league, right? <laughs> I remember uh, uh, a band of music. Yes. Ladies. Mm-hmm. I'm only human. I'm made of flesh and bone. So I'm only human. I may make stays too. So continue paying yeah. attention. Gracia, continuing with Gracia until Gracia makes a mistake, okay? Or on the correction. <laughs> what's the what's the right pronunciation of this word? Sometimes. Again? Sometimes. Thank you. Wendy, repeat. Sometimes. Mm. Listen again. No. Gracias. Sometimes. Better. Wendy? Sometimes. Close. No. One more time. Gracias. <laughs> Sorry, gracias. It's okay. Sometimes. Sometimes. You got it. Very good. Ah, thank you, Gracia. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hey, final sounds. Final sounds are your painkiller right now, okay? Final sounds. Every word has a final sound, and you have to pronounce it properly sometimes. Sometimes, okay? Next, Gracia. I continue with Gracia. Is the only form you can be a good person? I what? think it is missing an et. In the beginning, it is the only form or the only way you can be a... Ah, you got <laughs> it. It is the only way. Excellent. It is the only way you can be a good person. Hmm. What else could we change here? 
it's the only maybe contract it right to make it sound better it's the only way you can be a good person um, you can be you can become you can be i don't know there are many ways of saying it thank you gracia continue gracia oh my god when you recognize the important is help the other person you can grow up hmm. uh, i'm not sure if the meaning that was intended but when you recognize the importance of helping the other person, coma, you can grow. Of helping the other. Others? others. Helping others? Helping others, right? Everybody, thank you. Helping no. others. You so no. I don't need person, right? No. Uh -huh. It is in the context of the conversation. Great job. When you recognize the importance of helping others, you can grow. And by the way, there, there, there should be a coma after others. Excellent. And God, when applause for Gracia. <laughs> okay, teacher, we, can, can we say, can you recognize how important is helping others? Yes, yeah. it is. It is. Okay. When you recognize how important how important how important yes yes, yes. no importance important mm -hmm. when you recognize how important it is or it's, it is uh -huh, to help uh, others it is, it is. you grow you grow you can grow okay excellent thank you so gracia you got the opportunity to choose the next speaker i was the one who picked wendy who so... spoke Oh, so you want to let, let Wendy select someone? Or that's you want to speak? Fair. I'm sorry. No, no, that's so fair for Wendy to pick someone. <laughs> okay, Wendy, choose someone. Wendy, Patricia, wake up. For Fernando Marvin. <laughs> okay, Fernando Marvin. <laughs> Hello. Hello, hey, by, okay. by, by, by the way, Wendy, is it raining there in Santa Ana? No, teacher. No? Is it hot? No, no it, it's, it's a nice, it's but nice. No, no raining in hot. Awesome. Okay. Fernando, tell me. You ready? Yeah, uh, yeah I'm ready. Okay, I guess, you, I guess same question is okay. You have one minute. One, two, three, go. Okay, I I think that I agree with the with the quote because uh, it's important to to helping other people. But if you have the chance or you have the resource to to helping other people, uh, you can try to you can try to do it. So I think that it's easy for her to say that because. Uh, her position but i didn't mean to that it's not possible if you don't have um a bit resources like her so uh but i i try to i try to do my best with with uh with the resources i had or with my intention or with a little that i can do it so I have 10 seconds and I don't know what more to say. So, <laughs> but the idea is that, you know, so it's time. Mm -hmm. Four, three. <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't get the last sentence. It was, there was a correction there, but I missed it. I don't know what more to say. I don't know what else to say. You were right. Okay. I don't know what, what else? What else to say? Okay. What else Good. To say? okay. Select someone, Fernando, that can help you. Okay. So I only see Luis Albert. Okay, Steve. Hey. Thank you. Where is it? At? Oh yeah. Okay, Steve, uh huh. Go ahead. What what's the area of improvement on this sentence? It's important to help in other people. Uh, um, help to to help. It's important to help other people. Help other people. Good job. Now look at these guys. Um, 
doing what Fernando was doing is possible, right? Do you remember, Steve, the use of gerunds as subjects? Gerund. Yeah, using a gerund as a subject. ING? So, uh huh. Uh -huh. You use ING and. Uh, Let me give you a clue. This will be your subject. Uh, to, when you use the word to and the next. No, 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 no. I'm giving you a very clear clue. This will be your subject. Help other people. How can you start a sentence like that? Helping other. Uh huh. Helping others or other people. What? Other. It's important. You got it. You remember. So you can start just a, a quickly reminder, a friendly reminder, as the, the little old guy says on TikTok. Friendly reminder. <laughs> Helping other people. It's important. Now I don't need the it, right? Helping other people is important. <laughs> Just a friendly reminder. Great job, Steve. Continue, Steve. Because her position. Oh, he said it's easy yeah. for her to say that. Great job, for Because her position. I think it's missing a preposition. Ah. <laughs> Come on, Steve. Steve Rogers. Mm, okay, yes. Because Teacher. <laughs> Fernando, what? Because of. Oh, because of. Yes. Because of her position, yes. <laughs> you got it. Because of her position. Great job. Okay. I say, I say that, but you, you didn't hear me. We didn't hear you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Satellite. Okay. Rewind. Okay. If you don't have a big resources, let's continue with Steve. Let's see if, if Steve catch it. If you don't have a big resources. This is the opposite. Uh, resources. Mm -hmm. Hmm. We will find our. We will find a for opportunities. Mm, okay, now we're on grammar right now. Remember, on grammar. So what's wrong here, grammatically speaking? There's a chance that Fernando had a buffer. You have them. No. You have no. The article. Yeah. There's a chance that Fernando uh -huh. had a had a buffer, and I got it as an article. Uh, if you don't have uh, big resources, you yeah. see, that, that's okay. a muffler. And it's common. It's natural. Okay. It could be natural. If you don't have a big resources, he said, so I know at this point I identify when someone has a buffer and when someone doesn't have a buffer, that wasn't a buffer for me. So that's why I, I consider it as an area of improvement. So you don't need the article if you are pluralizing. If you pluralize and you don't need the article, right? If you don't have big resources, if you don't have big resources, if you don't have a big resource of money. Enough? If you don't have enough resources, sounds a lot better. Yes. If you don't have big resources, if you don't have enough resources. Just one more person. Great job, Steve. One applause for Steve. Good job, Captain America. Who's next? Or would you like Fernando to uh, take the payback? <laughs> okay, Fernando, payback. Who's next? Uh, Jose Wilfredo. Ooh. 
Come on, come on. Jose Wilfredo, turn on your microphone. Get ready. Ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Awesome. Do you agree with the quote below? Do you feel identified? And how would you follow up on the message? Let's see if we hear all of this. One, two, three, action. Okay, in my case, I believe that the quote is so is Well, I feel to totally agree. No, I, I, yeah. I feel totally agree about the quote because uh, sometimes maybe the light give you a chance that you don't deserve. So the light give you a chance and maybe you don't deserve and then you need to take advantage about that um about that change that you are receiving uh because um maybe I don't know, I'm blank right now uh, <laughs> okay <laughs> Sorry, guys, if I misspelled something, it's because I, I wasn't even looking at the keyboard. Um, uh, here, I knew I, I was. What? Is that what, what was it? Oh my God, I got. Uh, hold on, I got a blank too. Quote, is that proper spelling? Yeah, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. Never hesitate, never doubt of your brain. I always doubt of my brain. I hate that. So I will, uh, that the quote, I didn't get the word in the middle here. Sorry, I, I missed it. I would, uh, you said something, that the quote, so I'm gonna lead it, okay? I feel totally agree. Select someone, Jose Wilfredo, to help you, somebody who hasn't talked. See. Who? Ana Claudia, you can help. I knew you were going to say Ana Claudia. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, but she, she's going to say Ana Claudia. I knew it. Good job. Actually, good, good choice. Is okay. Good? Police. okay, in the first one, I will say I totally agree. I totally agree. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't need to feel right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I totally agree. We saw that. Okay. Now I'm going to split this into sections. Let's do it, Ana Claudia. What will be the first sentence? The first one is life's, no, life gives you a chance that you don't deserve. So should I delete the article? Life is important, but it's uncomfortable. So... Uh, so what's the difference between life and life? Life is that you are living and life is the uh, the noun? No. Come on, Ana Claudia. <laughs> it's my life. It is my life. Yeah, life is... It's my mm -hmm. life. It's yeah, but it's the, the my life. Noun. Okay. Yes. Okay, uh -huh. life is, is a noun. I, I, I didn't get, get it, I'm sorry. Oh, and okay. leave and let die. Leave is the verb, exactly. Exactly, good job. So, so life... You, life gives you, give you, with a DS. Life gives but... you a chance. Wait, 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 with or oh, without DS? You. No, gives you, because we're, uh -huh. that is, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Third person, good job. Life... life gives you a chance that you don't deserve. Okay, good. We have one sentence. And just one thing. Uh, uh -huh. Jose, Jose, the uh -huh. word that you that you uh, omit or delete was live, right? Le leave. It's just that you say uh, leave. You said leave. Say live. Live. Well, that's okay. That's or, or you okay. said li or you said live. I don't know. I misheard. But yeah. Uh, but don't worry. We got it. 
I think you got it right okay. too. Okay. So life gives you a chance that you don't deserve. And then, Ana Claudia? Mm. Uh, I said, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> life gives you a chance that you don't deserve. Should we follow Gracias' example? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then. I will take off and uh, it will be life gives you a chance that you don't deserve. Then you need to take advantage without end. Mm -hmm. Then you need to take advantage of, uh, let me see, then you need to take advantage okay. about it and change and make a change for what you're getting. Mm, you missed the idea. You need to take advantage about it. We call life, gives you a, life, life gives you a chance that you don't deserve. Then you need to take advantage. Yeah. Of that chance it, that you I are missing. I, I will delete these words. Yeah, yeah. Those those were not necessary. But, but that you, chance that you are, it would, mm -hmm. can we use getting instead of receiving? You're getting that you're getting that you're receiving. You know what? I prefer receiving in this case because it's a gift. Uh, and I like I like what he said actually because it's true. I mean, no, but that you. was my doubt that receiving mm -hmm. is like because you're getting something that you don't deserve. Mm -hmm. So it's a gift. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Great job. Hey, okay. Good guys, we only have 10 minutes. I'm gonna split you really quick so we can continue with the next exercise on your book. I hope you enjoyed that dynamic. We're going to continue doing this sort of uh, test, let's say for you to speak, that's very important. And make sure that your classmates collaborate, giving you feedback, that's even more important so the whole class participates. So let's see. Uh... Solo espero que nadie se sienta ofendido si se le corrige en la clase. Ni se siente. Yo creo que a este punto ya no, ¿verdad? Ya. No, teacher. We appreciate it. Yeah, we appreciate it. It's necessary. Yeah. I hope there's nobody. No association here, right? You know. How, how do you call that? No picky, no picky people. Okay. So let, let's continue. This is page nine. Let's build vocabulary. I'm going to share this image with you. We need to go online. Just four. It's just for um, um, concepts. It's just four concepts that you need to find online on groups. And that's it. This is on your platform. If you haven't complete all the exercises on unit one, please make sure you do them before tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow is the last day to finish unit one exercises, okay? Let's just find these four concepts. We only have 10 minutes, okay? I would like to comment something regarding the exercises because David, I think, uh, brought up that we were only able to select one on, I think it was 1.6. Yes. So I submitted it, just picking one, and it gave me the... It, it's, 20, still, it's still going on. Yes, but, I mean, as long as you pick one, it gives you the point. Already, if it is the right one, of course. Yes, and that also will happen on the 1.7. I've reported it already, but I'm just waiting for them to correct it. But I guess that's the way they may have left it. So we'll check on that later, okay? I like exercise 1.6. 1.7, I'm sorry. It's a reading, and you have to understand. And guess what? I'm about to take the TOEFL, TOEFL paper again. Uh, because I need that test to be updated, but it's part of the TOEFL, reading a lot, understanding and giving answers. If you haven't taken any tests like the TOEIC, the TOEFL, the CASAS test, no? no idea what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, you are right. Okay, that's important. So, okay, let me split you guys. We only have 10 minutes for this exercise. I'm going to recreate the groups and make sure you collaborate with your classmates on this exercise, okay? Let's go. It's four concepts. And in two different groups, teacher? Yep. Two and three? 
Okay. In the bathroom is there. There are a definitions about every every of of, of these these words. Yes, actually, homework one point three is like the, the there's the definition of each one of these terms. <laughs> I, I complete the, the uh, platform. All the, the okay, if you already have an idea of the definition, then explain it to your classmates. Easy. Because there are some concepts that I, I don't get. Venture capital, social value, microloan, I have an idea. But pattern breaking? That's really odd. I don't know. Oh, so the platform does not have pattern breaking. <laughs> so I'm looking for the meaning on. Um, Be sure, uh, I feel that venture capital uh, in the internet is referred to the to the a uh, capital uh, for business that uh, have a, a possibility to grow up, to grow up uh, fast. As I understand that for, for the venture capital. The definition venture venture capital and is a uh, small sum of money lend a long interest to a new business. And I, for uh how do you say uh a startup a startup is the is the 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 word that they use for for refer uh to to this concept is the 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 financial uh, for support a uh, startup. Yeah. So it has to do like with something upcoming, something new, uh, expanding maybe, like uh, cryptocurrency maybe. I don't know. But I I think is 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 more referred to the uh, uh, for technology. Uh, a business because um cryptocurrency is is a is a a, a totally different world <laughs> because there are uh, many projects uh, that uh, the people uh, launch or the 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 how do you say um or make money. <laughs> For example, uh, uh, how do you say t-shirt as a poco? Um, how do you say t-shirt as Lately, a poco? Lately I've been, I've been losing sleep, thinking about lately. 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 <laughs> lately. <Okay. Yes. laughs> Thank you, t-shirt. You're welcome. Uh, I, uh, I read about the cryptocurrency project. Uh, is a uh, uh, they uh, call a meme coin, and the name is Pepe. And in this project, uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, do it a uh, millionaire to the people uh, invest five dollars uh, in the when the 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 crypto cryptocurrency uh, launch uh, uh, less uh, they have five million dollars 
because the 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 value of the cryptocurrency increase very very quickly but the the, the problem is is uh, the, this uh, happened for a few days and the the few days the the cryptocurrency is uh was uh, was down <laughs> and the 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 initial invest uh, return on the five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a venture capital. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. you're and, venturing and on losing your money. <laughs> losing your money. <laughs> right. So uh there there's a the meaning for the social value. When it's a, 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 I think it's a, a when the value is is no only for the the money. It's a other 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 things like a uh, neighborhood. There are a park for children or there are a security or, or maybe the companies uh, helps a community. I think, I don't know. Okay, I, I was reading because I was mistaken. Yeah, the social value. I thought that it, that was, or that or is maybe the way that people look at your company. But it is not. It is not. Uh, it's not like that. Okay, it's or it could be um, the way that companies maybe uh, do something in order to. To, to the company af affects maybe the life or the the or the people's life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, I, I was reading here. A specific examples might include investing in new or improved healthcare sites or community centers. Yeah, for example, okay, you are in hospitals or something like this yeah but a social value is or could be not only have a hospital yeah uh, that obviously you have to pay yeah it could be have your hospital but in a higher level yeah trying to um to set uh, the minimum, mi minimum, sorry, the minimum uh, prices in order to attend people, yeah, but in a, in a, in another level, yeah, in another higher level. Uh -huh. So according to that, social value is helping others. Could be, yeah, but Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be that, but uh, okay, I will help others. Still different, like like uh, Steve Jobs says, still, still different because that is mm -hmm. the way you need to be successful in a business when you do mm -hmm. something in a different way than the other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, there is uh, like uh, everybody wants or likes. Pusas, but uh, someone in some part, I know, I don't know where, I don't know how, but somebody created the pupusa loca. <laughs> <laughs> and was, yes, and was an advance, and that, that people uh, go out of the pattern. So then it is important for, for uh, uh, then uh, every every business have pupusas locas. <laughs> And I think in the process of the entrepreneurship is very important. Yes, yes. Uh -huh, to to yes. this process, the 
the breaking department. Yes, for that reason, and the first time I think in a bad way, but I now I think that is uh, we need to think in a good way how to to achieve paradigm. Okay, time flies again, and tonight I'm staying with ta -ta -ta -ta, Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Where is Fernando? Is not here yet? Oh, one second. Okay. Okay, I think we are all back. Fernando, I'm staying with you 10 minutes, okay? Okay, sorry. Okay, <laughs> not a problem. Okay, guys, so I hope you move on. Yeah, this is exercise 1.3, I think. I think Gracia said this is exercise 1.3. And yes, it's just uh, the definition of this concept is on 1.3 on your platform. Don't forget to move on with it. We have to be done until 1.9 on the platform by tomorrow night. So good night and good fight. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher and good night. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Thank you. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Good night. Good night. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. She is okay. Present Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Eliana left, but she was here. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Teacher. Night. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Okay. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Miguel Bram Mejía. I'm here. I'm here. Good night. Good night. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. And William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you guys. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Bye -bye. Good, Good night. Teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night, guys. Good night, everybody. Good night. Okay, Mr. Gonzalez, how's things going? Um, I always like to, to make two questions on this uh, breakout rooms to go, you know, to help you in some way for 10 minutes. Um, the first thing that I always ask is like, uh, what has been your experience with English until now? And... Um, based on that experience that historical experience with english what has have you identified like being the most difficult section you know what what's the most difficult part for you of learning english Is well speaking listening yeah uh, well in the first question my, my experience with english is only in these courses modules because in my job, I, I, I don't use them. But so I wish I, I, I wish I, I have used. I wish I had used. But I could. I wish I could use English. I wish uh -huh. I could use English, but it's, it's not possible because my, my job uh, don't require 
doesn't uh, it doesn't require a job doesn't, doesn't require but but i so i i really want to learn and so i try to do my best but i mm -hmm. you know i have i had a lot of tasks in my job i had my day old and my time is very limited for for practice but i try to i try to practice even myself talking with myself or or i don't know reading some some i don't know some posts on social media or watching series in in english with mm -hmm. subtitles with in english with subtitles in english because it's difficult for me to understand all the all the words that all the sentences from mm -hmm. native people you're actually speaking very well i have to say the thing is that you're doubting but uh, maybe a little bit more of listening will help um there is a website if you really really want to learn english at this point um you have to i mean if you want to force yourself to auto learn to become a self learner you have to involve yourself in english as much as you can how how long do you drive from work to home or vice versa uh around three hours three hours <laughs> yeah i live i live in santana el congo santana do you know the congo i i'm i'm from santana okay and i work in san salvador so in the afternoon you know the traffic is a jam and so but but i have a mixed schedule i only go to the office two days or three days per week and the other days i i work from home but the point is my 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 no, my schedule is from 7 a.m to 5 30 but my job demand more time so i I finished my job around seven and I had to take my to take dinner. And I need to have dinner, uh huh. Sorry. You need to have dinner while you're driving yeah. or No no no. When I when I stay at home. When I went to the office, so I I have a dinner so around nine PM when I when I arrive home. So I have dinner very very fast for for joining to the class mm -hmm. because uh, I I really I really want to I really want to learn but I feel stuck in this level or in, in my level <laughs> in my level since I don't know for advanced four maybe mm. so but I don't know it's it's, it's my fault because uh, but again you're speaking I'm understanding you everything that you're saying. You're good. Yeah. yeah, but but I I make mistake a lot of mistake right? I make mistakes. Yes, uh, sometimes not a lot, not a lot, not a lot. Okay. And now, so yeah. you, so if you were in the United States, a gringo will understand you, and that's good. Man, I went to the United States this to, year. I went March. to. I went to. Uh, I went to the the USA. Uh huh. So. And I and I was able to speak with native people. Good, so, you see. So that's the point. You can communicate yourself. Now let's polish, let's polish your English on the WhatsApp group. I just sent you a link. That is a an index. An index. So if you really, really want to learn something, you have to sacrifice your time. Now, considering that you have three hours, two hours, I don't know, driving to Santa an hour, vice versa. This is what I would like you to do. Just select without discriminating, just select any title. If you notice, what I send you is an index in um, color numbers, Roman numbers, school yeah. life, jobs, housing, so let's say you select school life, the first one. Okay, close the ads, and it will take you to a sub-index, another index. 
select another option. And this is what I where I want you to be, the first or any any conversation. These are conversations between two people. So oh, for example, okay. you can play the the recording. Okay. You can play the recording. If you have the time, you may find a way to download that audio or put a device and record the audio so you can be listening to it or just upload this website every time you need it. I don't know, on your cell phone. Or simply, yeah, because you cannot be reading and driving, right? That's impossible. So yeah. now the way I do this exercise involves everything. So first thing you write down everything. And for example, the first um, conversation says, hey, you're in my English class. Yes, I am. Did you buy the textbook yet? No, it's really expensive. So what do you do? What you do is leave a space in blank in between each sentence. First and second day, you have to listen and read with your sight. Don't speak. So for two days, just listen and look at the letters. Because the first stage of learning a new language is making your brain, and, and well, hold on. The first stage of learning a new language where the letters are the same, the writing is the same as Spanish, okay? Yeah. The, first, the first stage is to make your brain understand that now everything that your brain knows, so it's not a Jore in me English class. Yes, I am. Eso se le diría el cerebro si le permitís que te siga estorbando, porque ahorita tu cerebro te estorba y te está diciendo un nombre eso, no se le da así. Ahí dice yo voy te textbook yet. ¿Y sí? Entonces se va a dar duro, se va a dar duro tu cerebro por querer leer lo que ya aprendió desde la infancia. ¿Bien? Yeah. yeah. So for two days, keep your mouth shut. Now, after the second day, the third day, you start repeating slowly. Fourth, fifth day, you continue repeating, okay? Then on the fifth day, you try to mimic the intonation. Hey, you're in my English class. Yes, I am. Did you buy the textbook yet? No, it's really expensive. Now, the sixth day, if you feel confident, if you feel, man, I got it. I sound really nice. You record yourself on the cell phone. Okay. Ahora, esta es la parte famosa mía. <laughs> esta es la parte famosa. Okay, la parte que te realmente te va a ayudar. Cuando yo estaba pequeño no tenía nadie que me ayudara. Sin embargo, gracias a Dios tuve buen oído y tenía... Buenos profesores, Frank Sinatra, eh, Natalie Cole, los Beatles, eh, George Michael, ¿ya? Entonces, buen oído. Me comparaba, no cantaba, pero sí me comparaba con la pronunciación. Entonces, ¿cómo lo hacía? Pues, me escuchaba, ahora tenés el celular, te grabás y le das play a las dos cosas, al teléfono y al, 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 um, al audio de la Hola. página. Uno, dos, tres, ¡puc! Ojo, eh, con un cuaderno. Uy, qué fea se ve mi voz. <risa> Primera reacción del, del ser yeah. humano cuando se escucha a sí mismo, porque lo, lo que tú escuchas cuando hablas no es tu voz. <risa> ok, so, segunda reacción. ¿Qué dije? Hombre, otra vez. Puh. Uy, dije English. Ok, subrayo. Y te vas a decir, eh, muy bien, dijiste expensivo. Ay, qué bonito. Le sale. Y ahí vas. Mira, es tan hermoso darte cuenta de lo que te estoy diciendo. Ya te puedes comunicar, ya puedes hablar. Sí, espero de verdad que si, si agarras este consejo y empeces a escucharte a ti mismo, llegues al punto de la autocorrección, que es toda la meta. Si tú logras autocorregirte, ya estás. You don't need no, nothing else. Ok. Ok, I, I will try. Ok. I promise. So that's my best advice. I hope you take it. 
I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Don't miss class. Okay. okay. Oh, teacher, I, I need help with, with the platform. Yeah? Yeah, with the... Uh, I, I, can I share my screen? Sure. Okay, with the platform. Okay, with the exercise number 